Hello, this is Sonia J. Wells, your lifestyle transformational coach, mentor, and minister. And welcome to the first Empower Me moment of 2014. This will be a monthly empowerment teaching to share with you tips, tools, and strategies to transform and empower and empower you to do the work to live the life that you deserve. And that is a life of freedom. Well, I'm the founder of Live Live Free Coaching and Empowerment for Women. I am an in-your-face, deal-with-it, keep-it-real coach, mentor, and mentor, and countless women have been impacted through my style of coaching, mentoring, and ministry for over 20 years. As a transformational coach, it is I am both compassionate and confrontational when it comes to changing your life. I want to challenge your way of thinking and your lifestyle in order to see you live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. So, as you join me every month, My goal is to share with you a strategy, a tool, or a tip that would empower you and transform you in some area of your life. So this week, rather this month, I'm going to be talking about the topic is this year make a new solution. Now, I knew what I said, know what I said. I did not say resolution, but I said solution. So I'm sure you made some New Year's resolutions. And how often do you discover within a short time and period you've broken that resolution? You see, we we create resolutions oftentimes only to realize that they are just a reaction or uh, 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 a response to the influence of the hype of the new year. And when you think about the purpose of New Year's resolutions, they usually sound like, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to get out of debt, or I'm going to be more sociable, or I'm going to work on my marriage, or whatever those things are. Most of these New Year's resolutions are about fixing things that you don't like. They focus on the things that are wrong with you, and, and in, in, they are an indication to you of things that you really have not really felt powerful enough to change. And this would seem like a good thing, but at the end of the day, we oftentimes end up feeling worse because we end up doing the very opposite of what we say we want to accomplish. You see, when we focus on the things that are wrong with us, we oftentimes feel powerless to do them. After all, if we could have done it, we would have already done it, or we would have already lost the weight, or we would have already gotten out of debt. You see, when you focus on what's wrong, you end up making yourself feel frustrated, anxious, and just really completely stressed out and powerless even, I dare say. You begin to have all this negative self-talk, and you end up right back in the same place you were before. You see, when you do this, you can oftentimes feel disempowered rather rather than empowered and this is the reason that you so often do not follow through on your resolutions because you start off feeling powerless instead of powerful you see resolutions they that's what they do they make you feel powerless because you look at what's wrong you look at what's not right and when you think about losing weight, I'm going to use that one because that's a really big New Year's resolution that people make. Can you honestly say you feel feel like you're in a position to lose the weight? Now, this is an empowering teaching. Trust me, it is because I'm trying to get you to see. So I'm trying to get you to change the way you think about losing weight. That it's not even about losing weight, but it's really about being healthy. When you shift the dynamics of what you're focusing on, it begins to change how you feel about it. When you feel like you are overweight, you feel victimized by the problem because you failed at this before and you tried it so many times. So what's going to be different this time? What we want to do is begin to change the focus when because you made this effort before and it sounds really good, but how do you begin to be successful at uh, at being a healthier person? You see, the major problem here is when you start to feel powerless about your current circumstances instead of powerful or empowered, 
it it it, it, it kind of takes the, the 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 wind out of your sail. It kind of gives you a whole different set of emotions that you start to feel because your focus is on the wrong thing. The key is to begin to focus on what you want, what is right, and begin to create steps to move you in the direction of what you want and the goal that you want. So I know you're probably saying, well, that sounds like the same thing. That sounds like the same thing that we always do and say. Well, actually, it's not. What we're going to do, what I'm talking about is coming up with solutions that you can focus on and get results that you want. I'm talking about speaking to things as though they were. Resolutions speak to things that are negative in your life. I want you to speak to things that are positive because these oftentimes resolutions can make you feel overwhelmed. They can make you feel limited in so many ways and you find out that you end up not doing them, which is kind of self-defeating. And we don't want to feel self-defeated. We don't want to wind up in the middle of February and we just say, forget it, I quit. You see, the, the, the major thing that you need to do is shift your thinking and not fall back into the old habits and old behaviors. So start by refocusing your attention. And when you refocus your attention, this causes a different perspective and a different emotional response in your life. Because you're not a failure. You just need to focus on solutions. You need to set your intentions and start by focusing on what you really care about. That which invokes passion and, 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 and drive and motivation for you because what is it that you really want to create you want to create a healthy lifestyle you want to be financially free you don't want to just pay off bills you want to be financially free so instead of obsessing over what you don't want how about begin to focus on establishing what you do want you want to have a healthy lifestyle you want to be uh, financially free you want to create a bigger circle of friends that are more influential and positive. So what I what I want what I want you to begin to do in 2014 is to begin to ask yourself what it is that you do want, not what's and not base your your focus and your quote unquote resolutions on things that are negative, on things that are wrong, but base them on things that are good and things that you want instead and begin to come up with a strategy to begin to move you in the direction of where you want to go. Begin to take steps every day that increase the likelihood of you actually doing what you say you want. Begin to set your intentions on things that are good and things that are above affections even. Clarify what you want and begin to uh, hold a mental picture of what you want. You know, that's why so many people do vision boards every year because they create this, in, this, this feelings of, 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 of accomplishment because that's what you want to do. You want to create feelings of accomplishment. You don't want to create feelings of self-defeat or, or discouragement or depression because I'm fat and I need to lose weight. No, you don't want to say that. You don't want to say I'm going to lose weight. No, I am. I am a healthy person. I am. I am eating healthy. I am a healthy person in 2014. You want to put change your focus so you can change the whole moment. You want to change your whole di- whole mindset and your whole spirit and the whole emotional mindset about what it is that you're trying to accomplish and begin to move towards that in this new year. Don't just make resolutions. Make solutions. Resolutions, we're going to throw them away and we're going to come up with solutions. We're going to come up with the results because you are a creator. You are created in the image of God and it Anything that you want to accomplish in your life, it's already inside of you. You just need to tap into that creative part of who you are and ask God to give you the solutions to begin to move forward in the direction that you want to go in. It doesn't matter if uh, if you are, if you have not succeeded in the past. What you want to look at in the current and your present circumstances, this, you are not the same person you were in 2013, 2012, 2011. You are a different person. Take on a different mindset. Change your perspective. And when you change your perspective, you change the emotional response that you get. And you don't find yourself going around this cycle over and over again of failure, of of frustration, of disappointment, even in your 
your own self because, you know, sometimes people disappoint us. But I can tell you this. We can disappoint ourselves more than anybody else can disappoint us because we have set up sometimes expectations of ourselves that we have not even set a realistic goal to accomplish. And we end up failing because of our own focus. So I want to challenge you in 2014 to begin to come up with solutions, see the result, and move in that direction, okay? This is Sonia J. Wells, your lifestyle transformational strategist, coming to you on Empower Me Moments, and I'm so excited about 2014 and you being a part of my monthly broadcast. Also, before I close, I want to share with you a couple of upcoming things that I have going on, which I'm really very excited about. Uh, I have the uh, the uh, Women on Wings Mentoring Program, which is a nine-month mentoring program. And I know that sounds very intense, and it is, because this is going to be nine months that are going to m- mature you, cause you to manifest your greatness in a way that you've not done before. I am having an information meeting on this Sunday, January the 11th at 5 o'clock p.m. This is your opportunity to come and hear more about this spiritual and personal self-development uh, pr- uh, mentoring program. This program is geared towards that woman who has made a conscious decision that I am ready to walk into my destiny. My goal in this program is to take 12 women under my wings and literally birth you out into your destiny. We're going to deal with interpersonal things. We're going to deal with those inner things that have hindered you and kept you from walking in your true identity and into your true purpose. We're going to deal with what your, what your true personality is, what your strengths are, with your giftings are. Then we're going to deal with what your vision and your purpose is. It's so much. I don't want to go into it all over this broadcast, but trust me, if it's something that sounds like you may be interested in, inbox me on Facebook or email me at sonyajwells.com and I would love to share with you more about it and get the application in your hand because you do need to have your application completed before coming to the meeting because you will have a one-on-one with me and I would love to have your application in hand. Also, coming up in the month of February, February 22nd, actually, is my Living the Empowered Life Seminar. Now, this is a one-shot empowerment seminar where when you come, you're going to leave there with a whole new mindset. If you are ready to live the empowered life, if you're ready to break free from powerless living to powerful living, if you're ready to shift the way you respond to life's challenges, you want to be at this seminar. This seminar is a four-hour power-packed seminar where, you, where it's interactive and in, 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 interactive and in, 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 in personal, in, in, intentionally in powerful. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I just got all twisted up with my words right there. But come to this seminar with an expectation to be shifted from the old way of thinking to a new way of thinking. It's four hours. You get a 20-page workbook that you sit down with as I walk you through each area of your life where you are, are creating chaos and confusion that you don't even know about. Wow. It's going to be February 22nd. You can go on my website, go on the Living the Empowered Life, and you'll learn more about it. Uh, The group is, the the seminar is for a small setting, so I'm only going to be doing registration for up to 20 people. The registration amount is set at a very modest price, so anyone who wants to come can come. This is an investment in you, so I can't wait to see you and meet you in 2014. And again, this is Sonya J. Wells, your lifestyle transformational strategist, coach, mentor, and minister. You have a great month.